warp a frame using the warp tool to create a fun, whimsical look on your next digital project. This tutorial is written for Adobe Photoshop and Photoshop Elements 2022 and newer. Here is a preview of what we will be creating together. I'll be showing you how to create the warped frame effect you see here. So why would we want to create a warped frame? A warped frame adds interest to the theme of your project. You can have a fun title bumping into the frame, causing it to bow. Or you can warp a frame to create dimension if a cluster is tucked under it. But not all frames work well for this technique. Paper or stroke outline frames work best. Intricate, metal, or wooden frames would not look natural if warped. This video is being filmed in expert mode of Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Photoshop except were noted. Begin by opening the DST Warped Frame Layered PSD file from the downloads. In the Layers panel, click on the Frame Layer to activate it. Press Ctrl T on Windows, that's Command T on a Mac, to get the Transform options. In the Tool Options, click on the Warp Mode icon. Set the Transform Warp to Custom. Photoshop users also set the grid to default. On the document, click on the top left corner anchor point and drag towards the top left corner of the document just a little bit. Like that. Now click on the bottom left anchor point and drag towards the bottom left corner of the document just a little bit. The further you click and drag an anchor point, the more warped the frame will become. Then when you're happy with the results, click the check mark to commit the change. Depending on how much you warped the frame, the clipping mask may not cover the entire opening of the newly warped frame. You can see here the gray is showing through on the bottom and a little bit on the top. If this happens, click on the clipping mask layer in the layers panel to activate it and repeat the previous steps, making sure the clipping mask covers the entire opening. Now that my clipping mask covers the entire opening of the frame, it's time to add a photo. Instructions for adding a photo to the clipping mask can be found in our free The Fundamentals class. Finally, finish your page as desired. Here is a page I made with a warped frame. I love how the title bumps into the frame and adds a fun effect to my page. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link and then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Carla Shute from Digital Scrapper the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.